What's up, guys? It's your boy, the Bad Wolf. Yay, sir! Woo! Crazy as a fox, but better looking, so more of a wolf. All right, guys, so what's up? This is your boy, Mr. James C. Uh, we're talking about um, the STEP program and what's known as the uh, Traveler or the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program. What is that? So this is a service of the Bureau of Consular Affairs, okay, by the U.S. Department of State. So essentially, it's like this. Um, it's a free service that allows U.S. citizens and nationals, oh yes, I said nationals, we're going to get into that in a second, um, who are living abroad to uh, enroll their trip or wherever they're at into the U.S. Embassy or consulate so that they know where you are. Now, I know what you're going to say, well, Wolf, why do I want to let them know where I'm at? All right. We'll get to all that. So uh, before we get in, thank you, everybody, for supporting the channel. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for supporting uh, BlackSite32.com. Thank you for supporting the Bad Wolf Media Channel. Uh, and thank you for those people who have supported by uh, joining the Bad Wolf Pack. All right? Um, those are the people who get the VIP videos first, and they get all the inside goodies, um, some stuff that I can't necessarily share on the public platform. So those things are in there. All right, uh, let's get going. So, okay, so they call it STEP, okay, which stands for Smart Traveler Enrollment Program. All right, so I went on there. You can find it yourself by typing in step.state.gov, okay, step.state.gov. All right, once you do that, all right, I'm going to whip you around here, then I'm going to whip you back. Whip it real good. So, as you can see, I'm on the website, all right? Did it kind of ghetto-like, because, uh, well, I just don't feel like using the other program right now. So when you go here, it's going to tell you the benefits of enrolling in the STEP program, all right? So receive important informational updates from <clears throat> the embassy about safety conditions in your country or in your destination, helping you to make informed decisions about your travel plans. Two, help the U.S. Embassy contact you in an emergency, whether natural disaster, civil unrest, or family emergency. Three, help family and friends get in touch with you in an emergency, okay? So there, it's not that you're gonna, they're going to pinpoint down where you are exactly because, well, we all know that's what the uh, passport book is for, you know, with the little you know, tracking chip in there. I mean, educational information only. But um, so the way we're going to be using it is that um, once you create an account... Okay, a couple of things. One, they're going to ask you what is the name that you go by in there. Well, let me actually let me back up. Okay, so when you create your account, they literally on the website here say this is to allow U.S. citizens and nationals traveling. Okay, so they acknowledge nationals on here. Once again, people say, oh, there's no such thing. The status is true, people. All right? All this is true. We ain't bringing you nothing, no BS here. All right? So they acknowledge the status, and once you go inside, you can check off your status in there. Now, for me, what I did to go above and beyond that is that they have a, a section where they're going to ask you, what's your name? What, what name do you go by? So for me, I used my given name, not my legal name. Okay? And for those people who don't know, um, uh, well, well, I'll make a video on the rest of that. Yours, 32, section 32, we'll call it for now. All right, so for the name, I used my given name. Because remember, the legal name, which is the name my mom gave me, then she handed it over to them on the COLB. They then transmuted it and put it on to the BC and which was a business trust, but it also made me the surety of there, which I've recanted and rebutted those issues. But they own that name, okay? It's registered with them through that document, okay? So I don't want to use that one. I don't want to use James C. Lovett, okay? So for the, this particular purposes, although my true given name, um, I've adopted a different one than what I'm going to give you now, but in general, it would be something along the lines of James, you know, say Cash, um, of the Lovett tribe, Okay? That's the name I want to have them register to be associated with my passport. Okay, 
So there's going to be a comment section in there. So I use my, my given name, not my legal name. In the comment section, um, I put my status in there. I put the code 8 USC 1101 b that I'm a national of the geographic United States, okay? Not the corporation. And then um, I put on there, do not detain, okay? I put in there that I'm a VIP and a diplomat of Lovitica. Okay, these are my truths. Um, anything else you want to put in there, your uh, travel ID number, your, um, your uh, uh, um, faith, or your religion, whatever it is you want them to know, this would be a good time to put in there. So even if you want to reiterate and say that you are, I think I did mine as well, um, national of the United States of America, not a 14th Amendment U.S. citizen. So clearly here on, on the website, they, they know the difference between a U.S. citizen and a national. So I'm reiterated that in that comment section in this particular uh, area. So this is going to inform the embassy and the consulates. So when they start pulling information on you, once again, you're changing your status in their databases. As many as we can find are as many places that we're going to change that. All right. So now for me... Okay, educational information only from your favorite non belligerent not combatant treaty with the United States and the treaty offering to the United Kingdom, the Queen, and uh, Britain, and the Vatican, and um, all the other hidden powers of B, the, the hidden hands out there. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. So all of them, treaty with you guys, I offer it. Um, so, but for me, in this particular situation... I'm traveling to the Vatican, okay, uh, one of the powers that be. So in there, it asks you, where are you going? So I gave them today's date, and uh, I put in there, they ask, where is it? Well, it's Rome, okay, and it's the Vatican, gave them that address, and uh, they ask how long, you can say for X amount of time, but I put undetermined, because there's a little box, so that means as far as they know, I'm always going to be in the Vatican, kicking it with the Pope. Maybe checking out the queen, if she ever stops by every once in a while, if you, if you know how that goes. So anyway, so uh, yeah, as far as I know, I might be here, I might be there, and uh, by all means, I, I, in all actuality, do plan to go there at some point in time. I'm going to try to get on the list and see if, uh, you know, I can meet the people. So uh, that's it. So what will happen is, is if anything happens at, in the Vatican or Rome or anywhere near there, they will update me to let me know whether it's good, safe, other, bad, whatever. Otherwise, in general, they're not going to just bother you. So for us, you can use Canada if, you're going, if you travel to Canada a lot. You can use uh, Mauritania. You can use Atlantis. I mean, wherever you're going to travel to, Jupiter, um, Venus to meet the um, Venusians or the Mars people, you know, in the underground complexes and people who live there, part of the space program because it's already been in existence for years long before Trump ever said anything about it. And we actually do have invisible jets and stuff like that. So wherever you're going to travel, you're going to want to put that in there. I don't think they cover off-planet non-terrestrial beings and crafts, so we'll leave that alone for now. But you put that into the little spot where you're going on vacation or your travel plans, your destination, and they will inform you. So if you don't have any place, and obviously I know some of you guys are going to ask, well, Wolf, what about the whole United States overlapping the United States of America? Can we? Nope. They thought of that. You cannot use U.S. or U.S.A. in there. It's not even an option. I already looked. Bing. So that's basically about it. Um, if you don't want to use that, you can just skip that step. Otherwise, uh, if you do plan to use it or if there's some place where you do go, I've got friends in, well, now, all over the world. So uh, I could use any, any place and you can add multiple destinations. So I'll let you guys figure out what you can use all of that for. But otherwise, right now, educational purpose, all we're using it is to do is to confirm and to ensure that they have our status updated in all of the systems and databases that we possibly can. So that's it, guys. Thank you for your time. Appreciate you. Don't forget to hit that bell, like, subscribe. Get those notifications so that when I do go live, I'm going to try to for sure go at least once a month now live because people keep asking me for it. 
Um, it does take a lot out of you. I mean, that's two, two to three hours. I try to only want to do one hour, but it's always two and a half, three hours, and it takes a lot out of you answering all these questions. So, if you guys want to speak one on one, then you know how to get a hold of me. Go to blacksite32.com and hit that uh, consult tab. You got to pay first, and then um, we will set up a time. Don't forget to include your cell phone number. And I book always, always, always in CST or Central. I'm not going to use your East Coast, Mauritania, whatever else. You have to figure out my day. Sorry, it's just easier that way. Because otherwise people are like, oh, I thought you were going to call it my time. Nope, it's always going to be my time. Always Central. Central. All right, Central. So um, that is about it. So appreciate you guys. Take care. Stay wise, stay woke, stay aware, stay warm. Unless it's here and it's hot, which I just turned AC on, um, then hey, just do what you do. Eat smart, take your vitamins, be healthy. Talk to you later.